I had to be quiet because Ashley's still asleep. I don't want to wake her up quite yet. Jason's gonna wake her up. This morning we have Abby's consult with her orthodontist. And hopefully, I don't know why he wouldn't agree with her surgeon, but she is going to get braces on. And I'm hoping this consult goes well. Hopefully we can get that scheduled soon so she can get started on this process. If you are new here, it's a long process. So go back and watch a couple videos. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and make it blue, but that's what we're doing today. That's why I'm up early. She's right here getting ready to go. It's not even eight in the morning. Her appointment's at eight. So I am folding the laundry. I think we're ready to go. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Hi, we're back at home. I am going to make a little uh, protein drink. I need a jar. Give you an update. Oh, there's Jason. Say hi. So, you're in the cabin, by the way. <laughs> um, I want to give you an update on Abby. Did her consult for her braces. We have done everything that the insurance has asked us to do and for her like regular jaw, her health of her jaw and her mouth and her teeth and all that. We've done the wisdom teeth surgery. We've waited time. Her bones aren't growing anymore. And so the doctor today was like, yeah, as long as your surgeon has given you the okay, I can see why we are in fact ready to go forward with surgery. Hang on, let me get my protein. Protein, ice, milk, or as my little brother used to say it when his little gruck. You couldn't say milk? Okay, so they gave us the okay. Go forward with it, but our wonderful insurance takes about five weeks, four to five weeks, get their act together to actually improve the braces. Anything that we've done has taken quite a while to get approved. So we have set her appointment for the, like the first braces appointment, I believe, uh, in five weeks. It's the middle of October sometime. So that's done so that they can say yay or nay on insurance at that point. And then we'll go forward with her braces and start the process. So fingers crossed. The interesting thing is that <laughs> we thought everything had been done to this point, but they were like, no, there's still four teeth that we want taken out. And I was like, ah, this is like, now we have to wait for that. And she's like, no, no, you don't have to wait for that. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And she's like, nope, we're going to put the braces on and then I'm not going to put brackets on the ones I want taken out. I'm like, you're gonna put the braces on first? And she's like, yes, so that they don't take out the wrong teeth. Like, has that been happened? Has that happened before? And she's like, yes, that's why I'm telling you to do it that way. She's like, and I was like, like amputating the wrong leg? And she's like, yes. <laughs> I just don't put brackets on the teeth I want taken out. And then you go to the dentist and you get those teeth taken out and everyone's all good. And I was like, that is insane. <laughs> but it makes sense. So she will have to have four teeth extracted. It's like one on each side of her mouth. Um, there's, it's just, there's too much in her mouth and so they need to take some out. Let me make this really quick. That is all good news. It just means we wait five weeks or so. We wait five weeks until her next appointment and then Hopefully insurance covers it because I don't have seven thousand dollars. But like, oh, but we're gonna take a thousand dollars off. I'm like, thank you, thank you for taking a thousand dollars off. So wait, that's the braces, right? Yeah, we're not gonna pay for it. The insurance will cover it. They have to refile to see if they get approved, right? Yeah, that's what they're doing right now. Okay. That's what we have to wait for. We have the next appointment scheduled. She's very happy. She's like, yeah. okay, we're starting this process. We're, the doctor was happy with, you know, how she brushes her teeth. And she's like, there's one little spot that you could work on better. And then she needs to get a crown put on a root canal that she had done and botched and then redone and then it's been a long process for this girl. Yeah, she's had nothing but bad news for so many years. Like so what, what 15 year old has already had a root canal at the age of nine and then it was botched and not finished. And I don't think they probably re needed a root canal. I think they just have incompetent dentists, but yes, they whatever. Do. Anyway, so. At that time. At that time, yeah. We won't ever go back to that dentist, but I'm just happy that she gets to start this process and well, we've been starting the process that we just, this is like, she's just really excited to have her braces on. 
because her teeth are crooked and then she's self-conscious about it. But if you have braces on, then it's like, oh, you're fixing them. You know what I mean? It's like this justification for having crooked teeth. Well, it's I like, remember we'd all be like, you wear your headgear, I'll wear mine. <laughs> like, well, so. like they don't care. Like <laughs> no, kids, kids, kids cool these days it. want the braces on because it's like, then you almost can't see the crooked teeth because it's just like, oh, you have braces. They like, don't even pay attention to the crooked teeth, which it makes sense. I guess. So Jason and I have some odd behind the scenes we can't talk about it things that we've got to get done today we have a few surprises for you guys and i hate to do that i wasn't even going to say that we have surprises but we do have surprises and and some that are going to happen sooner than later and sooner than expected some are expected yes. totally unexpected like last night like i'm laying in bed and he's like ah totally unexpected like things weren't going to happen until next year so that's that's the rush that we're in today so we're going to go and take care of a few things but you guys can't see that yet so future videos future videos we will film it you just aren't gonna see it right now <laughs> that's because we can't film it yeah we'll see in a second i'm gonna drink my drink because i have a headache drink my drink and drink my water i haven't had caffeine for like 48 hours it's pretty right. good i think i'll go file the yearly corporate okay. filing thing license renewal <laughs> The life of owning a business is not always what it's talked up to be. Yeah. All right. I am cold, you guys. Yes. We're just kind of in a holding period. I'm going to go and edit here for a second. But we're waiting to hear back um, some things that we need to go buy. Jason had to kind of ask some questions. We can't go out yet. And I was like, oh, we could go to lunch. And he's like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> we need to figure out. Uh... Yes, we need to figure out that battery. You figured that out. And then, um, anyway, we're just kind of bored already. Um, we're bored already. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Costco day. We don't have errands to run aside from this thing that he's working on. So trying to figure out what else we could do with our day. But I am going to get on the treadmill. I'm not going to like put on workout clothes. I've got sweatshirts and a shorts on. I'm just going to keep my flip flops on. I walked yesterday. Um, I did not film yesterday, but get this. I think I did. I, I did not do very many steps. I think I barely got to 5,000 steps yesterday maybe 6,000, no, 5,000, I'm almost positive. And I was just wearing flip-flops for the most part. I just walked slow, I didn't wanna work up a sweat. I had places to go in the afternoon, in the evening, and then I went to the high school for Kaylee and Abby's curriculum night. I got 11,000 steps in yesterday just from doing the high school <laughs> curriculum night, up and down and up and down, and over to this pod and out to that theater yearbook room, and I lost my purse halfway through. And so then I had to go back up and back down and like go to all these different classrooms and some of them were already locked shut and I had to call janitors and I got my steps in at that high school. I was so proud of myself. I was like, well, maybe I was meant to lose my, my purse to make sure I got my steps in. I would have totally made it. I would have been at least a thousand. I was a thousand over. I am not gonna, I might get on the treadmill later today, like as a full workout. I might even just turn on a movie because I don't really have an edit video to edit until I do today's video. But because we're gonna go out and be out and about and I've already got makeup on and stuff, I'm just gonna go casually right now. But I'm making good habit and um, also just giving myself some grace if I am tired. The medication is just, <sighs> Like, I don't know what part of it is like a symptom, but part of it is just me being tired. <laughs> I don't know. I have a headache right now, and that's just because I have caffeine. So I'm trying to work past that and have my water for the day. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. He fixed my key fob, put a new battery in it because he watched a YouTube video. Now he has his to figure out. Wait, why did we do this before? Are the batteries? I don't know. It's really orange, but. Are the batteries dead? I don't remember why. I don't remember. I think it just won't stay together. No. Well, you're the master at figuring this out, right? Yes. This guy is annoying. Are we taking this back? I haven't decided. Okay, so just put it on your side then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wants yeah. to show me something, but I told him to clean up his side of the desk in order to like have space to show me. And he's like trying to put stuff on my side. This to be fair. Yes. Why is I'll... this on my side? Like this is designated my side? Well, cause we haven't designated where it can go. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit in my electronic drawer. Every other electronic that we have it gets stored is no, in my no, drawer. No, Fair no, enough? It's, no, it won't. Yeah. <laughs> we all see how he does his electronic drawer. That's our electronic drawer. Exactly. That's, That's our Oculus. <laughs> you know, your little uh, snack bowl can put and be put in the fridge. No, the this. And he cuts these little foam pieces up from work and then sticks them in our bean bag. So maybe you could go get the bean bag. You want me to do that? Sure, because I will clean off your desk and give you space to show me whatever you wanted to show me. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to get back on my treadmill so he stops. He starts to put in things on my side. He can't do that. All right. We didn't find everything we needed it. No, we went to Lowe's. Um, so he's going to go to Home Depot later. Yeah. Guys, I think the smoke is here. I don't like the smoke. You can't really see it, but there's a haze, and that is not just from clouds. It's from smoke. So Jason needs a microwave for the store. So we're just going to run in here really quick and grab a microwave. Nothing else. That's nothing else. It's not a day for Costco. They're the ones so, to say I need a new one. So tell us why you're getting a new microwave. I thought it was because the one that worked didn't work. Tell us why. Because the employees have not cleaned it. <laughs> why is it the employee's job to clean it? Why did I clean it? I got other things and to You're do. the boss. I barely use it. I do clean it. I did clean so it. So you're getting a new one because the other one's dirty. Super dirty. It's probably also like 15 it, years old. It is really old. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not the current employees didn't clean it. It's previous. Previous. Okay. Get your microwave. All right. Next up is Cafe Rio. You're going to need me a salad with some steak. It's interesting because I've never really like had issues with feeling like my, what is it called? Blood, blood, blood sugar levels being an issue. This new medication, I, I don't know how yeah, to describe how I feel. You're intermittent fasting, so you haven't had food in so long. No, that protein drink. Yeah, it's not. So, yeah. it's just interesting how I feel. You guys, I hate the smoke. I was loving, like, having the windows open and smelling the fresh air and the fall coming in. And now we just have cruddy skies. It literally has happened in the last four hours. You saw the sunrise this morning and the golden sun. That was just barely when it was starting. So sad. You guys, this medication is nuts. I wanted to eat more of that salad. I, and usually I can eat half of it. Like when I'm really, really hungry, I can eat half of it. And then I'm like, nope, then put the rest of it away and I'll have the rest of it for dinner or for like lunch the next day or something. I, I don't even think I ate a fourth of it. No. And I made sure I got some steak. I got some like the red meat. I needed the X that. I needed to get that in my system and I ate lots of beans and some rice. I needed that but and obviously like the lettuce but I, I'm like full you got it right and I guess I'm I have dinner now also so sad we had to break the news to Chelsea and Ashley our Red Robin permanently closed we just went we were gonna go there for lunch um, and Chelsea was gonna be mad at me because like, she wanted to go to Red Robin tonight and I was just gonna take them but it's closed I don't, I don't think, think they, they survived I don't, I don't think, think they could staff, staff it. Enough to be open enough to get enough revenue. Yeah. <laughs> like every time we were there, like maybe four, not even four, like waiters. Yeah. yeah. So sad. Like there's not any other like family restaurants in our little town. Mm. Anyway, it's kind of a bummer. But we are still keeping our running our errands. Someone on the Buy Nothing group is giving away syrup, um, pasta sauce, Doritos, and something else and it's the good maple syrup from Costco I'm like I'll take it so we're just heading over there right now to pick it up from her porch I love the buy nothing group um, so and then you need to still go to uh, Home Depot to look for the other parts yeah right we have a secret project you can't you'll have to it, it'll happen soon we wouldn't hopefully. have mentioned it hopefully <laughs> hopefully it doesn't anyway you'll see you'll see soon I just did 14,000 steps while I edited. Pretty good, if I do say so. Chelsea, we're doing um, air purifiers. You guys, this room is a mess. Um, you need that, your chores for Saturday. Uh -huh. So, what did you say about Red Robin tonight? Could be cold. You're willing to go the distance mm -hmm. to the next closest one, correct? It's like 20 minutes away. You wanna go? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, I'm gonna shower? go shower real quick. Clean up this room, because I'm not gonna be home all day tomorrow. Okay, so I want it done tonight so I can put it in the laundry, okay?
Guess who won? And we get her red robin tonight. It's in the mall here. Yeah. Going this way. In case anyone needs to find Jason, you know. It's pretty sure. easy to find him. Are you excited, Ash? Oh, yeah. Are you glad it's Friday? Yeah. Yeah? You have a big game tomorrow. Yeah. Woo woo. And you have nothing. You'll be home alone with Abby. Yeah. yeah. 40 Teslas just driving here. They just happened to count because we saw five in a row at a light. So they started counting. Yeah, up by our house. I dare you to eat that lemon. Well, eat it. Get out of it. You'll Money. get a lemon. <laughs> Come on, Money. eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Mom. Like I have to eat it. Oh, and you're gonna do it? No. You have to actually suck on it. I did. You have to chew it. You have to like bite into it. I'm not gonna bite into it. Yeah, you are. You have to. Bite much. Did you like get any taste out of it? The things I do for a good sunset picture. I come to the little park and ride overpass and hop out of the car. Just for you guys. Amazing sunset with the smoke. Places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.